Hello everybody and welcome back to Sin City Living. This is Jason bringing you today's episode. Hopefully this camera and this volume works out well until I'm able to replace the entire setup. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> here we go. So the first strategy that I want to go over is one that I actually saw the other day and it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty bad. Um, it's just a variant. Uh, but it's one of the worst variants that I think I have ever seen. It was pretty frighteningly bad. And it's a variant of the Iron Cross. Now you guys already know my feelings on the Iron Cross with a hopper uh, that I call the Iron Stupid. Uh, this one gets even crazier. So let's take a look. So it doesn't matter what the point is. I'm just gonna get, get slide the puck out of the way for right now, okay? It doesn't matter what the point is because since it's an Iron Cross, you're going to do the standard iron cross, or you're going to do the standard iron cross number. So, first thing I want to do, I want to set up a standard iron cross here. And then I want to set up a bigger one. Now, this is you'll notice that this is not quite an iron cross, and it's one of those where the player hops the two-way five. So they only place the six and eight. Then they bet the field, and then they hop the two-way five. So let's take a look at this and see why this is just so incredibly terrible. Don't forget, by the way, guys, that I did manage to find an online casino that I actually like. It's not perfect, none of them are, but it's, it's actually pretty good. Been around for a long time, so it's, it's reliable. Um, and it's got craps. It's got roulette, live dealers, all the casino games, and has a uh, sports book. Really good sport, really good sports book. So... Um, the odds are all definitely in line with Vegas casinos. So with the lower limits, it's a great way to practice your strategies. That's how I used to practice my roulette strategies. I did not do well with those, but I wasn't even a dealer yet. I didn't know anything about any of this stuff. So if you're interested, check the, the link down below. That's got a couple links down below, actually, with some, to some of their sign-up specials. Get you some free money, let you play more. Maybe use that extra hundred to just mess around with some really bad strategies. So... The standard classic Iron Cross is 61 action. You have to be on a $10 table in order to play this. Obviously, you can scale it up. But since this, this is a comparison, I, I wanted to do the, the standard one. So 61 action, because you have 51 here, plus you have your 10 here. So it's 61 action. Now, the issues with it are on the 5, if a 5 rolls, you're going to make 11. Actually, if a 5, 6, or 8 rolls, you're going to make $11. If the field rolls, you're going to make $10, except for the 2 and the 12, those are, you know, two out of the 36 combinations of the dice, a lot harder to hit, uh, but, you know, they'll pay either 20 or 30. So for the most part, you're making either $10 or $11 every single roll, and it takes you, on average, six rolls of the dice after the point is established, six rolls of the dice in order to break even, because you know a seven is coming eventually, so eventually you're losing your $61 in action. So you need to win that much just to break even. So you need to have an exceptional roll to even break even. And uh, this variant that I saw, this guy played this variant all night and he had to continue buying in because, again, it's not a very good strategy. Uh, he was betting the hopper on the five and then a $30 six, a $30 eight, and a $15 field. So let's look at this just by itself. 60, 75, 80. $80 in action. So he already has $19 in action more than the standard Iron Cross. But for every roll of the dice, it gets higher because he has to keep replacing that five. Has to keep replacing that five. Although since we're going to take it out of the payouts, we can just look at losing $80 as your, your final endpoint. So let's look at how these might pay out. Well, if a field number rolls, he's going to make $15, but he has to replace this. So if a field number rolls, he's going to make $10, the exact same amount of money that he's going to make on, uh, in comparison to a standard iron cross. He'll make the same amount of money he would make if he played a regular iron cross. He's going to make a whopping $10. The look on this guy's face as these rolls kept going and going and going uh, was, was absolutely hilarious because he kept looking down at his stack and you could see that he was just baffled at why his stack was just shrinking when he's getting paid on every single number. Well, the reason is that you're, you're betting more and you're not winning, Jack. So let's look, let's say an eight rolls. He's gonna win 35, but he's gonna lose 
20. So he's gonna make $15. On a standard iron cross, he's gonna make $11. So he's going to make four more dollars on the six and eight, 10 of the 30 non-losing combinations of the dice, because you gotta take out the seven. So there's 30 combinations of the dice that's gonna be a score for this particular strategy. A third of those, he's gonna win four more dollars than he would on a regular iron cross, but again, he's got $19 more in action. On the field numbers, he's going to make the exact same. Now on the five, the five is where he can make some money. He's gonna make $20, he's gonna make $9 more than he does on a standard iron cross. So you'll make $9 more if a five rolls, and he would if the standard iron cross of 61 action. You're gonna make $4 more on the six or eight, than you would on the standard iron cross action, and you're gonna make the exact same on the field as you would with the standard iron cross action. So for an extra $19, you've got a third of the rolls where you make four more dollars, and you've got four of the 30 combinations of the dice, or two and 15, or one in every seven and a half um, rolls, where you're going to make an extra $9. This variant made no sense. This is one of the most nonsensical things I have ever seen in my life. And he just, he got his ass kicked. He just got beat down. It was really bad. So I hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, amusing, <clears throat> or at the very least, just plain fun. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, ad to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, SinCityLivingLV at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos. Unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about 
um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I, I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area also, please email me and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. I, uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And, and uh, of course, we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup, but I am an AV moron. So also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area, please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you everybody for watching. And we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.